Hello guys, Brickett Ninja here today, and today we will be building with my sister. We will be building a bunch of baby stuff that I hope you guys like. I will give the camp to her. Hello guys, today we will be making a bunch of baby stuff. Um, about ten things, so let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need a baby so they can do and you can put them in everything that you're going to make today. So the first thing we're going to be making is a booster. Let's get started. So the pieces you'll need are a 2x4 modified platform, a 2x4 big brick, a 2x2 jumper plate, four studs of any color, two 1x2 vents, two 1x1 cylinders, and two one by two bricks. These can be any color, and if you don't have one by two bricks, you can take three one by two platforms and stack them on top of each other, and they'll still be the same size. Okay, so first you're gonna take your two by four modified brick and your two by four chunky brick, and you're gonna place the two by four chunky brick on top of your modified platform. And then you're going to take your 1x2 bricks and place them on both sides of your platform. Like that. And then you're going to take your studs and place them right here. Wait, no. You're going to take, sorry. You're going to take your studs and you're going to place them right here on the edge and do two stacked on top of each other. And then you're gonna take these two vents and place them right here and right here, like so. And then you're gonna take two one by one cylinders and you're gonna place them right there. And then you're gonna take your two by two jumper plate and place it right in there. Wait, no, sorry, the 2x2 two two jumper plate should go on this side, on the studs. So now you have a little baby booster. You can place milk or anything on top of there, and you can place stuff on the sides and on the back. Alright, let's get to the next thing. So set that aside. And... We're gonna do next. We're gonna do a baby car seat that has a that you can also carry. So to start, you're gonna need the pieces: a two by three platform, a two by two platform, one of these one by two cheese pieces. These can be all black except for this one axle, the really tiny one. These can be all black because the car seat will be matching so it looks better and then you're going to need two one by one black cheese bricks a one by two brick with one hole inside of it a one by two a modified one by two platform looks like this and a one by two handle all right let's get started so you're going to take your 2x3 brick and the 1x2 black cheese brick and place it on here. Take your two 1x1 cheese bricks and place them on the two sides of that. Like it looks, should look like that so far. And then you're going to place this right at the end of there. And then take your 2x2 two two and place it right on there. And then you're going to take your 1x2 with a bar on it and place it right in that little space right there. And then take your 1x2 brick and place it on the end so it now it stands up. And to be able to fit something on it, you're going to have to place your axle right there. So now you have made a car seat with a carrier. So next, we're going to be making a 
cute little wind-up toy. So this is very basic and simple. You may not have these pieces though. So if you don't, um, it's okay because this is just a little simple baby piece, baby toy. So you're gonna take one of these one by one cars and this one by one wind up key and just simply place the wind up key on top of the car. And that's perfect size for the baby and it's very cute. So there's the wind up toy. And the next thing we're going to be making is a little toy for the bath because um, later in the video we're going to be making a bath for the baby so to the first thing we're gonna the things we're gonna be needing are one of these little stub things for the top it's like a top of a baby bottle cap one of these one by ones with studs on the side two of these flat triangles so you're gonna place this on top of the one by one modified brick and then place this piece right on the side of the modified brick and do the same on the other side now you have a cute little baby bath toy so this is for the bath but you can still use it to in other places but it's very cute in the bath all right so the next thing we're going to be making is a baby fire truck toy so for the baby fire truck toy and by the way all of these things can be any color pieces you want doesn't matter but these are the pieces that i chose and that i have so for the fire truck you're going to need two one by three platforms a stud a one by one platform two one by one baby cars so first you're going to be placing the one by three platform on the other one by three platform and then you're going to take your one by one platform and place it on the edge of your one by three platform and then you're going to place your stud on the top of it and then you're going to place the baby cars on both sides. There's a little lip right here, so make sure that's at both the ends, otherwise it won't work. And now you have a cute little baby car. He can stand on it, um, he can play on it and stuff. Okay, so that's for that one. Now we have a couple of toys that we made, so now we're gonna be making some more stuff for the baby, for his needs. So, um, in my family that I have, we have twins, little twin girls. So these are twins. And so for the twins, since there's two of them, we're gonna be, we need a holder for one of them so that the mom doesn't have to do all the work and she can put two holders for the babies and they'll just feed on themselves. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you how to make a crib because you have to have like a crib or like a, a lounger or something to make it so the baby can actually use this object. So first you're just going to take a 4x4 platform. If you don't have a 4x4 platform, you can just place two 2x4s together and we'll eventually connect them. So you're, if you have the two by fours, you're just gonna take a one by four brick and connect the two. Do that on both sides. This is the same with a four by four brick. And then you're going to take a one by two brick and place it on the side here. And then a one and two one by one bricks or a one by two brick and place it on the sides here should look like that and then take a 2x2 two two flat place it in the very center now you have a cute little crib or like a, a little bed for the baby the baby fits in it and he's pretty sturdy if you put him in sideways you can put him in all sorts of ways his head can go up here or anything really 
if you want, what you want to do. Okay, so now you're going to make two of those if you have twins. It'll be a little different if you only have one baby. So if you only have one baby, you're going to take a one by two jumper plate. But if you have two babies, you're going to take a two by two jumper plate. And then if you have one baby, one bottle, two babies, two bottles. And then you're going to take one of these shorter poles, a one by one clip. And if you have two babies, two arm, two of these arms, one baby, one arm. Okay, so I have two babies, so I have to have two and the bigger ones. So here, if you have two babies, just simply put these together in any way. And then you're just going to take a 2x2 two two jumper plate, place it in the middle. Now those two are connected. If you have one baby, you're just going to place it on one side. And then you're going to take a clip, place it right in the center. Make sure it's turned that way. Then place this pole on the, ins on the clip. And then put one arm on one side, facing one way, and one arm on the other side, facing the other way. And then you're just going to simply connect the bottles to the hands. Arms, I mean. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. And these arms can move, so if you put the baby in, they'll have to go opposite ways, because the arms go opposite ways. And then... So this baby's that okay. So then you're gonna take the milk and it's just gonna go. Oops, I think I think the arms are supposed to go the other ways. One sec. So that arm's supposed to go that way. So if you have the arms the right way, you might need to switch them up. But if you have them the right way, it should be on the opposite, the arm should be on the opposite end of the baby, and just get as close as you need to reach the baby's mouth. There reaches the baby's mouth, so you will know if you have twins that they go opposite ways. And there it reaches the baby's other mouth. So now you have two little baby bottle holders. All right, so. Next, what we're going to be making is a very simple lamp. So for the lamp, you're going to need a, a long pole, a one by one cylinder, and one of these three quarter balls. So all you're going to do is take the three quarter ball and place it on top. See where that little crease is? You're going to place it on top there. Then take the cylinder and place it about halfway into the cylinder. Then it should stick on anything you want it to, and it's just a little lamp to provide the baby's bed or something. Alright, so next we're going to be making a little play area. It can fit, it can maybe even fit up to four babies. It's pretty big. So, for this you're going to be needing a 6x4 platform, a 2x4 platform, a 2x2 two two platform, uh, four 1x4 bars or fences, just anything you have. Preferably bars, but if you don't have bars, like I didn't have bars, I just used a bunch of different like little fence pieces or different like funky bar pieces. And then two 1x6 platforms, two 1x4 flats, Two one by six flats, a two by two flat, a L shaped flat, a one by one flat, and eight one by one bricks. Oh, and a two by four flat. All right, so let's get started with this one. So you're just gonna take your four by six platform, your two by four platform, your two by two platform. And just place them side by side so they make a squarish platform. And then 
you're going to take all your fence pieces and put them on the sides here. Put that on all the sides and this should start to connect all the pieces together. And then you're going to take two one by one bricks and just place them on top of each other. Do that with all the bricks. When you finish that, you're just going to place them on the, each corner that is open on the sides where the fences and the other like bars like meet. So now you have that and now there's no way of getting out on the edges but now you're going to make it a little softer. So if you can see in here these should be di th if these are all different colors it'd be easier to tell. Mine are so it's easier. You're just going to take your 2x4 flat and place it on inside here and then you're going to take your 2x2 two two flat, place it inside there, and your L-shaped flat along with a 1x1 one one flat. And then you're going to take your 1x6 pieces. This is only what you need to do if you have fences. So if you have fences, you're just going to take your two 1x6 platforms and place them from each brick. So they're like, you can see the fences, and you can see that the bricks on the sides are connected to that. And then you're just going to take your 1x6 flats and place them on top there. And then take your 1x4 flats and place them on the sides. And now you have a cute little baby play area. As you can see, if the babies don't take up very much space, you can place quite a few babies in there. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. There we go. Alright, so next we're going, and I think the last thing is we're going to be making a baby bath. So, the baby bath can only, you only really want to put one baby in there at a time, otherwise it won't go so well. So, you're going to need two 1x3 bricks, a 1x2 brick, and two 1x1 one one bricks, and... Two two by two circular jumper plates, a one by one bubble, a one by two chair, and a one by four brick. So you're going to oh, and you're also gonna need a four by six platform. So you're going to take your chair and put it in the very middle on the edge. Of your platform and then you're going to place your two circular 2x2 two two jumper plates right on the inside there looks kind of like eyeballs so then you're going to take the bubbles and set it on either one and then you're going to take your 2x4 jumper or your 2x4 brick and place it along the edge there. And then you're gonna take your one by both your one by three bricks and put them on either sides of your platform. And then you're just gonna take a one by two brick, your one by two brick and your one by one bricks and fill in the rest of the edges. So now you see how that one jumper plate's open. You can place a baby in there and if we can get the toy, then the toy can sit in right there when the baby's not using it. But the baby can play with it while he is using the bathtub. And you can get scrubs and soap and anything you really want to put in the bathtub. Okay, that is it for the baby stuff today. So, this is all the stuff I made. Uh, I hope you like it what I made, and thanks for watching. Um, now let's pass it over to my brother so we can finish up the video.
Hope you guys liked my video, and I hope you guys will like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, so I hope you like my sister's video. Bye.